So guys, it's welcome back to Joff at Moho Hotel Adventures YouTube channel. And I've had a few more days to come to terms with what we've actually got here. And this fridge is just like pretty spectacular really with well, the more we've sort of like been getting into it um the more we've been enjoying it and uh well just sort of like thinking of the things that we can enjoy with it so this unit okay so we're going to drop the link to the place where you can get this now and we have actually got a discount code for you guys that's going to give you a five percent discount on this unit and it is already discounted so check out the website if you're in the line for a super duper state-of-the-art 35 litre they do a 55 as well but this is the one we've got and uh, this is still quite a large unit the greatest thing that i was sort of coming to terms with is the fact that it's a actually a dual zone fridge so i'm a bit old school you know it's sort of like so this means that each compartment you've got the 25 liter compartment on this end which they call the left okay so we're we're looking at the unit that way on i changed the lid so uh, um, i think with the lid around the other way they call this the left side so this is the 25 liter side and this is the 10 liter side and this dual zone design means that you can control the temperature in both zones so if you want to make the whole thing like a freezer or you want to make the fridge the bigger side and drop the temperature you can do it that way so all of a sudden it was kind of like oh my god this is like we've actually stepped into the 21st century i have anyway i don't know about anybody else but uh, so this is what i was sort of like hard to get my head around and the greatest thing with this fridge is also is another sort of like mind-blowing thing for me is the fact that so just rewinding a little bit i've actually got the mains lead in at the moment so it's running on the mains um we have a 12 volt lead as well so if you want to run it in a cigarette lighter or a power station you can do that um, but in this unit in the back of it is this lithium battery unit which means i can unplug the power source totally and that means i can take it anywhere and we've just been sort of oh my goodness me like if you want to just sit outside in the sunshine drinking cold beers you can do it with this fridge well and you haven't even got to get you you can put you can put your your fridge by your chair and literally just sort of open the fridge and access all your drinks or your salad or your little snacks that you want to be accessing without even going into your motorhome fridge how good is that this unit so being the 35 it's sort of going to be like kind of nice as well for a smaller camper van we are lucky enough to have the big garage as you know in the back of this motorhome but so this gives people an option and again if you want to take it in your car it would fit in the back of your car and you off you go with all your salad in there so the other really nice feature about this fridge is the fact that you can alter via the app the temperature in each zone of the fridge how nice is that so it shows you on the display the current voltage the temperature the bat battery capacity so that is such a really cool feature with this fridge <laughs> how nice is that just changing it around flicking each zone or in the zones via the app so how <laughs> easy is it just to chill, chill down your beers so just uh, as a matter of interest <laughs> this is what we like to keep in a fridge some nice so the fridge has been on for a while and uh, these 
are really super chilled now and uh, I've got some cokes in the other side there with some uh, tonics and uh, oh, they are f absolutely freezing so good the uh, lights in here got the LED over there LED there and uh, let me just turn off the light a minute how good does that look? And uh, I'm just going to uh, close this one off up here actually as well. Got another skylight to close and uh, there we go. Look at that. That is looking so nice. The handle, there's just two little levers under this handle and you can telescope it out to wheel it around. Look at that. How nice is this fridge? Oh, so the other one was that I kind of missed on the unboxing. We did the unboxing the other night and uh, just for, because I was so excited about getting this one. And uh, so that shuts there and then you've got your little chopping board that will actually sit on there it's, it's really cold look at that there's even uh, condensation on there like where it's so cold but um how nice is that to put your limes on put your fruit put some strawberries on there that is really nice i'm just going to grab one of my magnetic glasses and just uh put it in the there's four cup holders look at that that is going to be so nice even an iced coffee whoa how nice is that going to be So like I say guys, if uh, just trying to sort of give you a, a, an idea of what, uh, what is available and uh, things have really pushed on with the fridges. Look at these compartments. So this is the 25 liter compartment. You can see there's like a, uh, there's a four pack of beer sat in there. Well, there's two gone. <laughs> and uh, just some Cokes in there, just conventional size Cokes and uh, a couple of little tins in that side just to give you an idea of how big this is so we're just coming around the rear end of the fridge now and uh, for this little demonstration i'm actually going to have uh, a beer this is look at that you can see it's ice cold and uh, there is the cap remover so this is the rear end of it and uh, there is our lead at the moment which is uh, on the mains and uh, there's the little solar connection for putting a solar panel on and uh, this is the lithium battery this is the little engine battery in situ so uh, what i'm going to actually do is remove the power supply now and you can see it's still running on the lithium battery how neat is that so we can take this now absolutely anywhere super little grippy wheels on it uh, real robust construction this is going to take a knock beautiful finish on it look at that so I think the only thing left for me to say is the fact that if you are in the market for one of these fridges, guys, um, just make sure you got one of these. I've just picked one of these up on Amazon. I have got a couple floating around and I thought I'd just get another shiny one because Caroline was um, saying to me occasionally, uh, she needs one for a certain device that she needs, so um, which is a hairdryer, and uh, it's a continental style. So uh, when you buy things abroad, and uh, they come with the Euro plug socket on there, so uh, to get in plugging back in our motorhome um, on some of the plugs that we got in here, back to a three pin. So uh, always a uh, handy a little adapter to have floating around anyway i keep touching the side here uh, so anyway what i'm going to actually do now is i'm going to withdraw one of them super cold estrella beers and i'm going to click it in the end and try not to make a mess on this uh, on this surface oh my goodness me that didn't go too well but uh let's see let's give it that
that just takes me back to Spain. <laughs> Estrella beer, ice cold, that. He's touched it again. Oh my God, it's just gone from minus 15 down to minus 20. So uh, cheers guys for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, don't forget on the checkout of this fridge, to get your 5% off, already discounted from Autoterm store. These guys will give you information, more information, ring them up, um, give them, ask them whatever questions you want, you can message me, uh, but it's a, it's a cold fridge, <laughs> you know? There's not much more to say. So I'm gonna say cheers guys, I'm gonna leave the video there. Mmm. But the worst thing is, I've only got one bottle left.